Intense fighting is continuing in the Kharkiv region with the admission of the uh, Ukrainian uh, army that uh, uh, the situation is very tense, especially in the sectors of uh, Vovshansk, which has been um, heavily shelled with uh, Russian troops already at the outskirts of the city. The Ukrainian army acknowledges that uh, this is a, a strategic, a tactical uh, a gain uh, for, uh, for Russia at a moment where thousands of civilians, it is believed that around 6,000 of civilians uh, have already had to evacuate and had to flee from uh, this area. Uh, Vovshansk had been uh, already occupied back in 2022. Uh, it had been liberated by the Ukrainian armed forces uh, in September the same year. So many of those people being evacuated right now already know what it means to live under Russian occupation. And that's what uh, they are very afraid of. And this is why they are uh, evacuating. Uh, overnight, there was more shelling over Kharkiv region and over Kharkiv city, where several series of explosions uh, were heard. Uh, even if Ukrainians uh, were warned by intelligence that uh, there was uh, the possibility of an impending new attempt of a ground offensive uh, against Kharkiv region, this still uh, comes, uh, you know, as a, a shock for the population. And of course, there's a fear that uh, Russia will manage to break through the Ukrainian defense lines and further advance into Kharkiv region.